October is marked as Breast Cancer and Domestic Violence Awareness Month, but for one of us here at Mountaintop Media, it's especially important. Sports Director Brittany Rowe. When Brittany was just 18, she learned her mother Kelly had breast cancer. Six years later, her mother lost the battle after fighting for so long. Breast Cancer Awareness Month for me reminds me of my mom. My mom was diagnosed when I was 18 years old. I'm 34 years old now. My mom was 36 when she was diagnosed with breast cancer and ended up doing a full mastectomy. She went through chemotherapy and she went through radiation. Then she went into remission for a short stint and then it came back and they call it metastasized when it comes back and it was stage four, which means it came back in her bones and it came back in her lymph nodes. Growing from a high school kid into an adult without her mom was one of the most difficult periods of her life. My mom actually did a clinical trial at Vanderbilt um, when it came back as stage four. And, you know, she did everything she possibly could because she was a very strong woman, strong-willed woman, strong-headed, strong-hearted, and she fought until the very end. She passed away on December 20th of 2014. I was 24 years old. And like I said, she got diagnosed when I was 18. And so this December marks 10 years without my mom, which is insane to even think about. But when my mom got diagnosed, I was freshly graduated from high school, you know, becoming my own person. So not only was I trying to transition from a kid to an adult, but I was also watching my best friend and my one of my biggest support systems have to battle and go up to war with cancer. At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. With 40 years of being in the hearing care industry, you'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. One of the biggest inspirations Brittany has taken with her from the loss of her mother was how hard she fought until her last day. I know my mom would want me to keep putting up the good fight to help try to find research on it and luckily I'm a very strong-willed woman because of my mom. She was a spitfire and if you knew her you either loved her or you hated her. I mean that's just as simple as I can put it and I feel like a lot of times I'm a little bit like her and I'm thankful for that and hopefully I'm as strong as she was because like I said she fought until the absolutely very end. While October is meant for keeping breast cancer awareness in mind, it's also a time to recognize those who have suffered domestic violence. Brittany is among these as well. I was in an abusive relationship when I was in college and I ended up getting, I, I had several things happen that I won't go into graphic detail because you know that's really personal and I've been in the emotional side of abuse, I've been in the physical side of abuse, but one of the worst things that happened to me was in college and I ended up, my left eye, I had eight stitches in my eyebrow, I still have a scar to this day. And a lot of times that's why I wear like eye makeup all the way up so you can try to hide it. And then I had a black eye as well and uh, it was from a fist to my face. Brittany says that along with the physical abuse, there is also the emotional and mental abuse. The physical side does stick with you, especially when you look back at pictures of it and see, you know, how did you get there? How did you let somebody do that to you? Um, a lot of times it's hard for women to overcome that. And for me, it was more of the emotional side because the emotional abuse mentally will drain you and you carry the mo emotional side with you and the mental side every single day. It has been a pleasure to share her story and help others. And now this has been over a decade ago that this happened to me, and I started sharing the story about eight years ago. So for me to come on here and talk, it's really because I wanted to let these younger girls that I cover in sports know it's okay. If you're in a situation like that, you will overcome it, and you don't have to carry it with you every single day. Even though you will, you don't have to let it affect your day to day like most people think that you do and what those people that do that to you want you to do. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Sheldon Compton.